in this video, I want to explain why the world's major deserts are located 3 degrees north or south of the equator. In this image, you can observe that the Sahara Desert in Africa is found in this area, around 3 degrees north of the equator. We also have the Kalahari and the Namib Desert around this region which is at the same latitude south of the equator. If you go to North America, we have the Sonoran Desert and the Chihuahuan Desert in the same region, 30 degrees north of the equator. In South America, we have the Patagonian Desert around this area, around the same latitude. And in Australia, we have the, the Great Sandy Desert which appears in the same region, around 30 degrees south of the equator. We also have the Arabian Desert. So that's what you can observe from that image. So let's explain why the world's major deserts are located at around 30 degrees north or south of the equator. Now let's look at the situation at the equator. At the equator, we have hot air which rises, okay? The air is heated because we have uh, maximum heating through insulation. So the air is heated and rises. As it rises, it cools and condenses to form a lot of precipitation in the equatorial regions. That's why we have uh, that kind of climate uh, where we have the Pitolo rainforest like the Amazon and the Congo forest because of increased convective activity and increased precipitation in those regions. Now this air that rises it reaches the tropopause. As it reaches the, the tropopause there is lateral spreading. So some of the air moves forwards, that's towards the poles. Some of the air moves towards the north and some moves towards the south. Now this air, as it reaches uh, this latitude, 30 degrees north or south of the equator, it starts descending, it moves down. Now as this air descends, it warms because descending air is compressed and therefore it warms. So as this air moves down and warms, it also warms the land surface. Therefore, it evaporates the water on the surface in these regions, such that the climate that results here is dry. So we have desert climates in this region because of the descending air which warms the water on the land surface and the water evaporates causing dry conditions. In the same regions is where we have the, the semi-permanent high pressure systems which are associated with the descending motion of air and dry conditions. So this explains why we have deserts, the world's major deserts, at around 30 degrees north or south of the equator. So if you find this video helpful, kindly subscribe to my channel to see more videos which are educational in nature. Thank you.